Good morning. Uh, I am Dr. Manivandan, uh, Department of CSE PSNA College of Engineering and Technology. So, going to handle today, it is about the futures of C programming. So, very important uh, concepts in the domain of uh, information technology and computer science. So, all the students uh, who are studying uh, engineering must know about the programming of C. So, this is very preliminary programming. So, the ancient days, uh, uh, the code for uh, uh, finding of some problems to be written by the C programming. So, one of the efficient technology that is C programming, you must know about uh, how to write the code in C programming. That is, we are going to, going to be handled today. So, so, before we starting about the C programming, we must know about the history, how the C programming was developed. So, the first language, there are a lot of languages in uh, computer. The first one, we call it as the machine language. The machine language, how the machine uh, recognize the languages, what you written. So, in basically, it is a binary language. This is a combination of zeros and ones. So, the machine can understand only the binary machines, that is digital machines, that is zeros and ones. So, ancient day, there is analog. So, when we are uh, uh, finding uh, about uh, this um, binary language, so all the programming and the machine, the machine means it is a processor. The processor is understanding only zeros and ones, then processing of lot of uh, uh, code what you written in programming. So, that is the first one, that is machine language. So, which is a binary language, which is the combination of zeros and ones. So, the example for that, that is uh, all the programming should be converted via the microprocessor, it is binary language. So, that is machine dependent. The machine is uh, converting what are the languages you are writing that is converted into 0 to 1 or sorry 0 and 1. So, then assembly language, the assembly language is mainly for the microprocessor. The microprocessor is a machine dependent. So, lot of type of uh, microprocessor there, the first microprocessor is 8085 and 8086 and 8088. Now, we are using lot of uh, Intel companies processor, it is a code to do or lot of things on multiprocessor we are using that. So, that is uh, the code written for the microprocessor dependent that is called mnemonics. The mnemonics is uh, one of the assembly language. So, which is, uh, is converted to the my machine languages that are done by assembler. The third one, it is a high level language. What today we are writing the languages, we call it as the high, le high level language, that is set of instructions. So, set of instruction can be recognized and understand by the user too. So, I am the programmer, I am going to be writing the program. So, I must know about what I am writing, what problem I am going to be solved. So, when I understand that set of instruction that is called high level languages, that is a machine independent. So, the processor, we are not writing the dependent on the machine. We are only concentrate on the problem what we are going to be uh, finding the solution that is called high level language. So, a lot of examples on that that is Fortran, Pascal and C it is all about uh, the machine language and assembly language and high level language. The C is a combination of in between the assembly and uh, high level language. That is why C programming is very useful to write system softwares as well as the business uh, uh, execution so processor. So, all the types of uh, problems can be solved through via C program. So, then so, how the processing of these languages, how the machine is understand these languages, which is done by the assemblers and compilers. So, both are the program, so system software program, the assemblers can convert the mnemonics, what you write into the machine language, that is binary language. So, so when you are writing mnemonics, the mnemonics is not understand by the normal uh, uh, human being, that is user. User cannot understand the mnemonics. This is about the microprocess understanding languages, microprocessor uh, recognition languages. So, we must convert it into some machine understand. Right. So, that is assembler, it is converting, it is a program, it is converting what mnemonics you are writing that is converted into machine language. That is the example, for example, this is an example of assembly language that is scales A51. So, this is a normal uh, user cannot understand about what is scales A51, but this is a sum of the mnemonics. We call it as mnemonics, a combination of some uh, symbolic uh, information. So, scales A1, it is a, we are not understanding, but the assembler can understand and convert it into machine understanding format. So, that is assembler. Then compiler, C is a compiler. So, compiler is a program that translates the source code into the machine language, that is object code. So, there is a difference between uh, machine code and object code. Machine code is a zeros and ones, but the object code, it is a form of a machine independent code, which machine you are not, you are, you are going to be using, that is not we are going to be considered. It may be on Linux system, it may be on Windows system, it may be of any processor, it may be a multitasking or not. So, we are not bothered about the machine where we are going to be executing our program. We are only concentrate the problem we are going to be solving. So, that is the compiler is done. Once you are installing the compiler, that is automatically converting your set of code, that is source code into <coughs> 
sorry object code right so the microprocessor easily recognize that kind of concepts so this is a, some of the compiler program that is turbo c what we are going to be study today that is turbo c and boland c gc so gc is using in a linux platform and turbo c and boland c you can execute in any platform right so our examples all example discussed using turbo c today so what is c language so very important that is robust that is more portable so you have to reducing the coding uh, for solving for example you are going to be solve uh, the addition of two numbers that is a plus b so the efficient program so try it via the length of the code should be very minimal so c programming is producing very minimal coding you can easily debugging you can easily maintenance you can easily modifying the code you can easily finding the solution of the particular problem so c programming used for problem solving technologies so what is a problem so when you are asking of someone the human being prime it's going to be uh, manipulating or calculating some information what is 2 plus 2 it's 4 easily we can say that but machine it's going to be performing some manipulation we have to write code to machine calculating 2 plus 2 so it's one of the artificial form of the human being a human brain so C programming it's finding the solution whatever the problem we can easily getting the solution so that is a very important the C programming is a robust language it was the developed by the Dennis Ritchie in 1970s at 88 T Bell laboratory years so a lot of uh, development it's uh, on the C language so before they start as a basic and fourth on Pascal so when they are talking about uh, think about uh, thought about uh, uh, structure oriented programming that is a structure means uh, it's a one by one it's a statement by statement it's a, it's a line by line execution so we can easily maintain we can easily reuse we can easily modify for example I am writing one program if some other programmer come to work with my program they also they are also to be uh, recognize what program I am writing that is structure oriented programming so so this is a, this a combination of lot of built-in functions operate data types so what is data so all about data now so I am anyone and I have name I have my number in the institution I have address I have mobile number so when you are uh, explain about myself I am using lot of data in different formats money one and it's in a character it's in a character value a a to EJ it's a alphabet so when I am saying my number it's a numeric it's a 90 90 it's number when I'm talking about my data of birth that is in date that is or some data month date and year we have to notate so <coughs> in machine we have to maintain the machine should understand what type of data we followed and writing the code so that's all it's a C languages give you the bright uh, futures of that is lot of built-in functions and operators and data types and main importantly there is C language is in between the combination of assembly language and high level language what is assembly language is mnemonics the mnemonics is converted into the machine code that is binary code so which is on for microprocessor that is dependent on the machine so machine can be easily understand what is high level language the source code to be converted into the object code that is a user that is programmer can understand very easily so so we are maintaining the code between these two languages we can easily write about the system programmer system recognized programmer as well as the business programs which is understand by the users so customers so that is a very important thing of C languages right the programs can be written efficiently and fast because it's a very portable it's a structure oriented language we have some structure of how to write C programming we, we should follow the structure of the C program because it's a compiler C is in a compiler the compiler to be executed line by line statements the statements we call it a source code that statement is in high level language and maybe the assembly language so that's why the lot of built-in functions what is functions when you are going to be perform the repetitive actions for example I'm going to be adding two numbers two plus two it's one but I want to add whenever I am going to be uh, performing the arithmetic operation of addition we have to use functions isn't it so because one time I am adding 2 plus 2 the another time I am going to be adding 5 plus 5 so lot of uh, times I am going to be added it's a calculator calculator is a plus function so you can lot of numbers you can through the addition the plus symbol you can add that so that is we have to using the built-in functions right so this is the basic structure of C programming so we must follow some of the structure statements or optional some is mandatory so what is we start with the first one is a link section what is link section I already told you that is C programming is a combination of uh, a lot of built-in functions so if all the built-in functions is already defined in C compiler so when I want I want to display some number I can sub just track it from the uh, what the built-in function used for displaying a number so the formatted IO and lot of built-in functions is reside in this link 
section some of the header file some of the areas so c compiler it's a defaultly they are having these kind of functions when we want to execute just we have to pick up that so that's why we have to include some of